What if Jesus came to your church on an Easter Sunday morning? Now, let me say this. The emotional desire to be appreciative of the fact that Jesus was resurrected, that's a good thing, okay? I am glad Jesus rose from the dead. You know, that, that, that's okay. But Jesus would say, now, wait a minute. I inspired my, the Apostle Paul to say this in 1 Corinthians 11 and verse 26. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, referring to the Passover here, you do show the Lord's death till he come. Now, it seems that we've got it backwards. This verse says, we do show the Lord, I want you to show my death until I, not his resurrection. That's just the opposite. The difference between death and resurrection is a huge difference. Death and life, you know. You know I want you to show the Lord's death till he come. Now, you do understand, don't you, that the word Easter is a mistranslation. You look the word up, it actually is a reference to the Passover. Now, why did the King James boys take this word that, that means Passover and translate it Easter? Well, let me tell you why. By this time in history, the holy days of God had been abandoned for the two major holidays that we celebrate today, Christmas and Easter. It, uh, it had already infiltrated the church. So when the King James translator translated this word Passover, they, they, they said Easter. And that is wrong, and that is dead wrong, because the word Easter does not, it means Passover. It's a reference to the Passover. Okay? So if Jesus came to your church for an Easter sunrise service, what would he say? What would he say? Looking at that sun coming up early morning, he would say, well, that sort of reminds me of the prophet Ezekiel, uh, what I inspired him to say, Ezekiel 8 and verse 16. And he brought me to the inner courts, court of the Lord's house. Notice we're in the Lord's house. And behold, at the door of the temple of the Lord, notice we're at the temple of the Lord, between the porch and the altar were about five and twenty men with their backs toward the temple of the Lord. Notice their backs toward the temple of the Lord of God's house, and their faces toward the east, and they worship the sun toward the east. Man, now, that's your original Easter sunrise service right there, okay? It is. And God refers to this as an abomination, okay? So we come back to the scripture that says, for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he come. Now, you know, I suddenly realize why this resurrection thing, the emphasis of it. You know, there's all kinds of people who run around who don't even have a superficial commitment to God. And they run around and say, oh, I got life. Jesus rose from the dead. I got life. I got life. I got life. But you see, when you look at what caused the death of Christ, you're faced to look at that nasty three-letter word, sin. What God wants us to look at is what you do show the Lord's death what caused his death. It's a personal relationship, one-on-one. -on -one. I'm supposed to deal with that sin issue. And so, so the Bible says you do show the Lord's death, not his resurrection, until he come. So if Jesus came to your church on an Easter uh, service, he would say, well, you, you've, these people have it all backwards. I want you to show my death until I return. 